welcome to the very first Shiridu Week Vlog. My name is Irene, I read in English, and I will be vlogging about Shiridu, my business, my crafting business. I'm going to show you in these week vlogs what I do, what it's like to build a crafting business, what kind of crafts I make, new projects I'm working on, crochet and quilting. I will just take you with me from Monday to Friday and we'll show you around in my crafty business life. So today is Monday, the first day of the week. I'm just back from my holiday in France and Belgium. And uh, today will just be a kind of an introduction day. Um, I have to get used to vlogging, so bear with me. This is the first one. Most of my followers are English or they don't speak Dutch. So that's why I'm going to do these videos in uh, English. And for now, let's make a cup of tea and get started with my day. The first blog post for this week is finished. Monkey is ready for his new vlogging adventure. It's time to eat some lunch and I just got a package in the mail. Very curious what it is. It says Moda. I bought some striped fabrics because you can make a lovely binding with it. Oh, and this one is the color is so pretty. Black one for black stripe bindings, and a more pinkish reddish one. I like, I like, I like. I don't have normal plates or normal <laughs> tools yet, so I only have a spoon. I don't have a proper knife or a fork or anything. <laughs> Maybe I have to go shopping for that this week. This is the project that I will be working on this afternoon. A little froggy. I need to press this part and then add some white pixels to this side, to this side and some details in the frog's face. And I think I will turn it into a pillow. It's a project for the Once Upon a Pixel book that I'm writing with Studio Cuckoo. <laughs> The little frog is finished and I started quilting it and to quilt a pillow I just used the quilt top and then one layer of thin batting and no backing. So uh, behind this of course there will be the stuffing of the pillow and then behind that there will be the back layer of the pillow. But I don't use any backing on this side because then it, the front of the pillow will get pretty thick. I started with tiny, what do you call them, like match stitches, I think, very close together. And I'm going to do that for all the, the light green parts. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with um, the dark green parts and white, but first I'll have <laughs> a long way to go with all these tiny stitches. So I'm done for today. Got pretty far on the quilting. That's nice. And uh, I just closed off and uh, I'm ready to go home. So this was the end of the first day of vlogging for me. And uh, I'm curious what you think, but let's first continue with the rest of the week. Good morning, it's Tuesday and I'm back in the studio. Ready for some work on the blog um, website. Going to do that this morning. And after that I have a lot of cleaning up to do because tomorrow uh, there's a Let's Craft Together morning and a few people are coming over so I'm very excited about that. It's going to be fun. And Thursday uh, in the evening I have a workshop here so I need to clean up the studio. I 
I'm writing this blog post about that I quit my day job a year ago and what happened in a year uh, at Chibridu. And I went to Etsy to see the first pattern that I sold. And it's called uh, Mr. Blueberry. I don't even sell it anymore. Maybe I should do a redesign with this one. Because shortly after I designed this little monkey. And I was way happier with this design. So then I took Mr. Blueberry off, I guess. Time for some lunch. A lovely salad. I got myself a fork from home, so <laughs> that's eating a little bit easier than uh, with the spoon. It's time to do some cleaning up in the studio. <laughs> I will show you my mess. This is all hidden under the table. And I need to clean it up. Well, sort it out, mostly. And there is stuff. And there is stuff. Stuff, stuff. Empty workspace! Yay! Ah, so, I'm done cleaning. Let me show you around in the studio a little bit. So this is my quilting department. A lot of quilt fabrics. Pre-cut fabrics in fat quarters. And a rainbow of fabrics. There we have a lot of crochet stuff. Crochet hooks. I just got these buttons in before I went on holiday. I really like them. Let me see if I can show you. Handmade with love. I love them. So cool. And they're also in a tiny version. So this is where all the goodies for the web shop are stored. And then we have some cabinets. Are they called cabinets? Drawers? In the middle. And the workshop table. And over here, on the other side of the room, I have a huge design wall. Well, I'm done for today and uh, we'll see you back tomorrow. Good morning! It's Wednesday today and this morning there is a Let's Craft Together morning. I'm very excited about that. Uh, already a few ladies told me that they were coming so it's gonna be really nice. And uh, I'm going to have my breakfast. And then clean up the table. And then I'm ready to uh, start on my sewing project. I'll be working on the mini quilt with the frog that I showed you Monday. So yesterday I shared something fun on the Instagram. So in just in case you're not on the Instagram, you missed it maybe. This is our crazy cat. But this is the one. So the announcement is that there is a mini on the way. Is it a girl? Or a boy. It's a boy. In December we are expecting a baby boy. We are so super excited. And thank you all for so many lovely comments and congratulations. We are so super happy. Yay, we have one clean table. And we have cake on our Let's Craft Together morning. I couldn't wait. So I already got myself a slice. So the Let's Craft Together morning was a success. It was a lot of fun and I'm already looking forward to doing this again in two weeks.
the blog post that I was working on yesterday is finished. So I can hit this button. One, two, three, publish. And there it is on the blog. Make it happen. The blog post is about my journey, my sugary do journey. How I quit my job and why I made that decision and what I did over the last year. So I thought it was fun to write. Hope you like to read it. So closing up in the studio. I've been uh, cleaning up after the crafty morning and then I spent the rest of the afternoon working on another blog post. <laughs> yes, another one. It's the third one this week, but uh, it's mostly pictures of a fabric shop that I visited in uh, Gent last weekend. And I also bought some lovely fabrics there, and I will show you those tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Tonight I will be doing a cheese fondue with friends. I love cheese fondue, and so do they. So that's going to be fun. Good morning. Well, morning. It's afternoon already. Uh, this evening I'm giving a paper piecing workshop. And uh, I'm going to prepare for that now. This is a uh, pattern that we are going to use and tea bag paper. And tea bag paper is the foundation paper that I'm using. And I like to cut the paper to um, printing paper size so I can use the tea bag paper in my printer to get the patterns on there. It's really convenient, I guess, so that you don't have to transfer your pattern to the tea bag paper. And this tea bag paper, it's super thin paper. It's really the paper you imagine tea bags are being made of. I have my printing paper and my tea bag paper and I'm going to attach one of the tea bag sheets to one of the printing papers. So what I found out is that it's not sufficient to only uh, attach the top part of the tea bag paper to the printing taper, paper. So I need to attach also these sides to uh, be able to print on it. Quite some work and it takes quite some tape, but still it's way faster when you have to do a lot of blocks uh, than be uh, drawing this by hand. I think I have enough paper for now. Let's do some printing. This is how I get the tea bag paper out of the printer. So it's printed on the tea bag paper and when you then start cutting it, you have this perfect pattern pieces. This is how it looks on the back side when the pieces of fabrics are sewn to the paper piecing paper. So you have a very thin layer of paper and then you have the fabrics on the other side. So this is going to be a candy. Can you see it already? Yes. And this is a little candy block, all finished. I think paper piecing is such a fun technique. I really like it. So I'm also very excited about the workshop tonight, that's all about paper piecing. So yesterday I said I would show you the fabrics that I bought on our vacation in France. And these are some 
of the fabrics I bought. It's a it's called Sky, I guess. Uh, it's a kind of fake leather, I think. And I bought this in a few colors. I never worked with this before. I have it in green and in blue, in a grey and <laughs> in a very shiny gold color. I never worked with this before but I thought it was a cool material to do some applique works maybe uh, or uh, to use to make some um, uh, crochet hook cases. How do you call them? Cases? I think those will be very fun to, to work with. And uh, when I do, I will show you what I make with them. And in the same shop in the city called Angers in France, I bought these two. They are cotton fabrics and they are a little bit canvas like. So they are thicker than normal quilting cotton. I have no clue what I'm going to make with them yet, but uh, I love them a lot. This is a piece of laminated fabric. So it is a cotton fabric, uh, quite thin, uh, but it is laminated. I also bought this book. It's in French, but I think I can figure out what the patterns will say. And it's all about making bags. So um, a lot of cool project in here. Look at this cute foxy. That's definitely one I want to try to make. So. Uh, if I do, I will let you know and I will write a uh, review about the book on the blog. And also I found a magazine. It's a magazine by Molly Makes. And it's all about sewing projects. I never saw this one in the Netherlands. Like for example this adorable little bunny. Isn't that the cutest? If anyone in the Netherlands knows this one uh, and where you can buy this, uh, please let me know. These are fabrics that I bought in a very cool shop, a fabric shop in Gent, a city in Belgium. And the shop is called the Stoffenstraat. I wrote a blog post about it, which is coming live tomorrow. And I bought some lovely, lovely fabrics for the little baby boy. This one is, I think, my favorite fabric. So it's a knit fabric. It's a ochre yellow. And I just love this with the little deers on there. How cool would that be to make a, um, a onesie or something like that with this fabric? And another one I bought was this one in blue with a geometric print. I would want the sweatpants like this myself. <laughs> and then I bought two fabrics that are a little bit thicker. So they are also stretchy fabrics, but a little bit thicker. So this is a summer sweater kind of uh, fabric. And this is a jeans kind of fabric, but then stretchy. I'm thinking about making a onesie with um, a zipper from top to bottom and then a hoodie attached to it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that turns out in these fabrics. Of course, in France, you have a lot of Fildar shops. So I bought a big candy ball yarn. It's called Fill Cake. I just really love those colors. So yeah, that's all the shopping that I did on the vacation. And for now, I will be prepping the studio for the workshop this evening. Friday today and yesterday I had a workshop in the evening with three lovely ladies and um, we had a lot of fun uh, they did a workshop on foundation paper piecing and I think they learned some new things and they made 
lovely little blocks. So uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, for today, I don't have much planned. Um, I am going to make some uh, blocks for a surprise quilt that we are making for someone with a group. Uh, but it's a surprise, so I cannot show you yet. And um, I will also be working on uh, the little pixel quilt that I was working on earlier this week. The one with the frog. So I'll just be doing a lot of sewing today, which is a lot of fun. Ooh, and I have a nice update about the website. Uh, Martin, my husband, he does the server and hosting stuff for my site. Uh, while I build it myself, but he does the the techy uh, hosting stuff. And what he did was fix the speed of my website because it was really, really slow. It was, it has been for a while, and I did get some comments on it by other people. So I knew, I knew it was slow, but we finally, or well we, he finally fixed it. Uh, I did a happy dance when I tested it yesterday. You can just click on something and it will respond right away. Oh, it's perfect. It's so much better than it was before. Luxy, Isn't that the cutest froggy? He isn't finished yet. I still have to do those rows with the line quilting. But I'm getting there. And then he needs a little mouth here. Something black lined. Not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But I like where this is going. I didn't do too much vlogging today. Spent most of the time behind the sewing machine working on the, a project that is still a secret and uh, on the frog. Uh, so I did have a really nice day but didn't film a lot. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. I think I will do some social media stuff on the couch later this evening. Uh, but for the vlog, uh, this is it. So I guess when you're watching this, that means that um, I wasn't too disappointed by my editing skills. And uh, that means that the vlog is up. So um, that uh, concludes the first week vlog from uh, Sugary Doo. I really hoped you liked it. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to see the next vlog also. And please let me know in the comments what you think. Be nice, it's my first vlog, but uh, I would love to hear what you think, if you like it, if you have suggestions, if you have questions, uh, just let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!